Well, an unusual sight off the coast of Tybee, a waterspout forming near North Beach. This is courtesy of April Zollers. Also, some of our other viewers taking pictures of it by Cecilia Foster Moray. It was definitely a scary sight, but fortunately never hit land. Mm, yep. Meteorologist John Weatherby joining us for a check of the weather. and. We haven't seen one of those in quite a while. Well, it's been a couple of weeks. Uh, and that not unusual this time of year with cold air aloft forming that rotation, especially over the warmer ocean waters. Ocean waters warm is where we're starting tonight, looking at the tropics. There's an area of concern with the National Hurricane Center along the Texas coast. Then, of course, what's now Tropical Storm Nadine, way out in the open Atlantic. Don't worry about her. She's losing her uh, intensity. And then a third area we're watching now just west or east of the Leeward Islands. All of these areas are in the very early stages of development. In fact, there's already an investigation on this one from the Leeward Islands, and all the computer models are keeping it south of our area. So let's look ahead at the work week ahead. We have a wet start to the week. In fact, Tuesday has the highest rain chance and then some drier air toward the second half of the week. I'll show you that right away. Here is the relatively dry air of the day that we enjoyed today. Then this deeper moisture comes through Monday into Tuesday. That's our heavier rain and right behind that some of the driest air we've seen so far of the season. Much lower humidities. That will try to slide our way as we get toward the end of the week. And there's some serious rain associated with this system as it's pushing through. But not for us in Savannah. We stay in the green a half inch or less. But back over here across Alabama, the orange is up to five inches of rain over the storm's uh, total period. So Future Max has us with a couple of showers. First thing in the morning, look at the noon hour. More showers right over lunchtime. That by 6 o'clock, the heavier rains are farther inland. We're under heavier clouds as we get farther into the evening. And that should be the scenario with a better chance of rain on Tuesday. Cloudy skies now, 72 degrees, 92 percent the relative humidity. We made it up to, well, 72. That's because it just turned over. Our afternoon high was actually 87 degrees, 66 the morning low, and we're now more than 1.8 inches below normal in precipitation. Moderate risk for rip currents tomorrow with our southeasterly breeze at 10 to 15 miles an hour. So for the tides, 327 the low tide, high tide at 927. Some minor coastal flooding is indeed possible. Tonight we'll see a quiet night, more humid though, 68 degrees with calm winds. Then tomorrow a 30% chance of afternoon showers and thunderstorms, 87. Look at that, 80% chance of rain on Tuesday, 84. 40% chance of early showers on Wednesday, 84. In the 80s, lower 80s, for the rest of the forecast period, and I think it's going to be dry with overnight lows in the 60s. But again, for tonight, 68 with cloudy skies, 87 tomorrow, 30% chance of mainly late day showers and thunderstorms. Keep with us on Twitter. We'll update your forecast for you at Big John Weather. Make it a great week. All right. Thanks, John. Yes, ma'am.